We were a little late today because they've been brick pointing Betty's building. Bang, and we bang, literally bang, could bang. not do the video. But so we're a little grainy because we lost some light, but we're, we're we lost do a it. lot yeah. of light. So we wanted to talk about the young teens and twenty somethings that have been writing into the site guilty because they're going steady, they're in love, this is the one, they think they're gonna get married, but they find themselves sexually interested. attracted to other people. If not attracted, interested. Wondering yeah. what it would be like to have sex with somebody else. Of course. So I say, do it when you're young, instead of waiting until you're 40 or 50, and then you have to get a divorce to do it. And then you've, you're rusty. You've been out of the game. And for a couple now, of you, now you have a family, and the kids get all screwed up. So teens and 20s is the time to experiment. And, and figure out what you like. Find out who you are as a sexual person. Mm -hmm. Find out what's out there in the, in the world of sex. What are people like? How do you know exactly what your even your orientation is or what turns you on? You must have experience. Experience is the number one teacher. And I can speak from my experience because I met my husband when I was 18. I was married by 20. And I found myself, you know, slipping off my wedding ring in college classes because classes I wanted, I was hot for the professor or I met with my girlfriend. You were flirting. And I would make out with a guy or I'd take his number, since, and then it would go further along, and then I was sleeping with other people, and I used to beat myself up about it. And I was What's very wrong with me? Because I was raised that if a good-looking guy that you're in love with pre-med gets on one knee and gives you a two-carat diamond ring, you say yes, and you live happier ever after. Like, that's it. That's Disney. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Your prince had arrived. He did all of the right things. Yes. I mean, that's why I watch Say Yes to the Dress. It's addictive. It amazes me that we're still living with this. Now I know that. Oh, it's the most important thing in the world, getting married and having a family. No, no, no. The most important thing in the world is getting to know yourself, mm -hmm. getting to know other people, and having uh, a choice in life. Yes. Making a selection. So this one kid... He loves this girl. He thinks she's fabulous. She's the one for him. But he finds himself looking at other women. Well, it's, that is natural. That is everything. It's more natural than not wanting to look at other women. And we all know the male gaze. And everybody goes, oh, I just hate it when he looks at another woman. Come on. Everybody has to read Sex at Dawn. Yes, and it's how we used to have sex when we were little foraging groups. And sexual was really about creating social bonds. It's how we bonded to another person. Which is still what it's about. Yes. But for them, it's true love that will last forever and ever. Oh, I never would want to be with anybody else. He's my best friend. He's this, that, that, that. She's perfect for me. Our sex life is incredible. You can't imagine being with someone else because this is your first experience. Well, actually, the guy ma imagines it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> with the fantasy going, you know. My thing was, uh, all my girlfriends were like, well, how did you get him to propose? And I never, we never talked about it. I didn't get him to do anything. And they, people's reactions, I felt like, well, what if no one else wants to marry me? What if this is it? Right? Coming from, coming from lack. Coming from scarcity. You want to come from abundance. Right? Well, I said no a lot of times. And then the, the one I wanted to marry said yes. And then turned out he wasn't going to marry me. And then, <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then I got married on the rebound. And it's, you know. The whole thing. But what I, how I used uh, my marriage is that the first year, it was fabulous. The first year's always great, yeah. And he had a good salary, and I was buying things and furnishing the apartment. Then it starts to go, uh, and I see all the things wrong with him, and, you know, he does this, and he, you know. Well, then you get to really know each other, and that's the whole thing. We're people, we're all flawed. Aren't we? Aren't we always and eventually, you know, the sex went by the wayside. Mm -hmm. And the, I used f those next five years to just paint full time. I sublimated. Which a lot of people, you make your choices. And so, I don't know. This, I could. So how, how, if you're in your teens and your 20s, what should your focus be right now when it comes to sexuality? Well, num the, the number one mm -hmm. affair needs to be with yourself because you're still developing and growing. So you want to constantly keep in touch with what works for you. and Masturbate. Then, touch and, yourself. Yes, fantasize. And work on uh, communication skills. How do I tell my partner what I want? Yeah, first you have to find out what it is what you, do want. you want. And then you have to say what you want. So save your monogamy and going steady.
for later on. Mm -hmm. Don't do it now because now is the time to learn about life. Learn it's going to be yourself. really hard for you to stay on that straight and narrow. <laughs> it's going to be really hard. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it either. And don't beat yourself up over that. No. You know, we should never feel guilty for our natural impulses. Yeah, it's like feeling guilty because you're... You want to have a nice, you know, healthy dinner. Yeah, or you, you, yeah, you want to taste something delicious, you know. So save the big commitments for a little later on when you want to settle down and have a family. Okay.